Hi, I'm Eric Norris, and this is Gabe here at the Thumbnail Ranch, where we do most of our stuff ourselves. Just tune into our channel each day and uh, look for new videos on how to do home maintenance. Um, anything you can think of, come to our channel, and we'll probably have it posted sooner or later. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Say bye, Gabe. He'll be growing with us. Do a water heater install. This is again new con remodel, so everything is brand new and clean. Um, this is real easy. Two flex lines. These are pipe size. We're gonna hook, disconnect that one and hook the two together. Okay, we're gonna disconnect the old lines. This was just crossed to, to make a watertight connection while the heater was out. This is. Um, Pretty easy to do. They're just they're the same fitting as this. Okay, these just screw screw on it. Take a look at those, Tim. Get close. Those are just soldered on male connections. So we're going to put this on there. You just snug them till they till they don't want to go anymore, and then you give them a little more push. Then this end goes on to the water heater, like that. This is the this is going to be the outgoing cold, outgoing hot water. Hot's always on the left. We're going to do the same thing. This is the incoming cold. And it goes to the incoming cold. Blue, red hot, blue cold. Snug them till they're tight and give them a little more. Okay, we're ready to turn the water on. We've got to hook up the P and T line yet, but we're going to test the water first. And the electric. And the electric. All right, we've turned the water on and the water heater's filling up. Uh, it'll be a while before it's full. We're going to be using PEX. This is the P and T valve, and there's the release line where it goes. This is a sealer on here. This is an old can erector seal. This screws in here like that. Then that will go in there like that. And this will become our connection. I'm going to put this in since we're not going to have room to put the crampers in. We're going to put this on first. This is how this works. This is an old set of crimpers. A little kind of clunky. But they go something like this. See how it goes on there? Kind of like that right there. Then you crimp them down and you pop them until they snap. And that puts that fitting on. Now the joy about this stuff is you can still spin this around in there. I don't recommend it, but in this case, since I can't get to the regular fitting, I can't get the crimpers in there, we're going to do this. Okay, since we couldn't get the crimper in there, the, the modern tool you buy, it's easily to do, I just don't have one. But we've gone ahead and tightened it up. And the joy about this stuff, again, is that it's so flexible. We can take this and shove it right in that drain. And there is our relief valve. Keeps everybody safe in case this thing blows up. You always want to have a hose on this or a discharge line. And you always want to have a place for it to go outside the house. Otherwise, it'll end up all in the house. This is a drain that goes outside. 
So this water heater is in except for the electrical connection and we're fixing to do that next. Yeah, we're going to make sure the power's off before you uh, hook up any wires. Power off. This is the supply line to the electric water heater. We're going to, and then this, this is where it goes in to right here. You pull this out and here's your wires to the water heater. Okay, let me strip these back. If any vibration, you don't want this wire touching the outside and this holds it firmly. This is kind of the same thing I did in the dishwasher. Except I did it a little differently because I could not get to the back nut. Hey, these wires are dead. Nope, just kidding. Okay, it's in place. Let's snug them up. And you always want to put them, see it's flat, that way it holds it in place. Okay, this is going to go in like this. This locks in under there. And that holds that in place. Let's put the screw in here. Okay, there we are, we're locked in place. Now, we're going to connect, it don't matter on the black and white on this one because it's, uh, each one of these is 110 and then this, the ground wire becomes your ground. These are your two, your two wires. This is, again, this is each 110. You firmly put a wire nut on it, make sure they're attached properly. Same with the other 110, takes two 110s to make a 220. Each one of these 110s runs a 110 element. Okay, we tuck this in out of the way. And this ground wire, we're going to ground it to the case right here with this screw. The wire, we're going to connect that to the case like that. Okay, your wires are there. This goes under like that. Seals the whole unit up. We put that through there. And that pins that ground wire down. There we go. Now we're complete. Electricity, incoming cold, outgoing hot, drain relief line.